Hey Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner. So, Pisces, your partner has, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> your partner has the emperor. Your partner has, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Your partner has the lovers. And your partner has the eight of wands. So, Pisces, your partner has the King of Cups. This is you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the King of Cups. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Cups. For Pisces, partner. What does Pisces' partner think of Pisces? What does Pisces' partner think of Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces' partner. It is clarified with this emperor twice. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually a older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So listen, Pisces, could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So, Pisces, listen, your partner is finding something difficult here. Something is burdensome, and they're wanting to release it. Now, listen, do you guys work together? I mean, is someone kind of bossy and stubborn and stern here that's causing some type of burden here in this situation? Are they attaching you to someone you have some history with, an ex, a, the ex-spouse, or your ex, or the parent of your child here that's burdensome to them? Listen, Pisces, your partner has the emperor again. So like I said, could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse, the parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. 
it is clarified with the ace of wands <clears throat> aries leo or sag this is a brand new passionate creative endeavor now this can be the spark of a new idea this can be some type of exciting passionate communication exciting passionate action but this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate so brand new passionate beginnings so listen, Pisces, your partner could have the spark of a new idea. They could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or someone started a passionate new beginning. Now listen, you know, yes, your partner very well could have initiated something here. Yes, they could have had a spark of a new idea, maybe some type of work or business here. Your partner could tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone started a passionate new beginning possibly with someone who they have some history with here pisces your partner has the moon this is you pisces but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known it can symbolize moodiness depression vivid dreams deep emotions intuition but secrets so pisces this is you <clears throat> clarify the moon for Pisces partner, clarify the moon for Pisces partner. What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces partner. It is clarify. Oh, with you, Pisces, the King of Cups. So, Pisces, this is you. What about you, though? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces, partner. What does Pisces, partner, think of Pisces? What does Pisces, partner, think of Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces, partner. Oh. Yay, 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 yay. So, what does Pisces partner think of Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces partner. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So, Pisces, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that something is toxic, okay? Restrictive and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces partner it is clarified with the four swords gemini libra aquarius this is your partner taking a break resting recovering meditating praying recharging their crystals so pisces you know your partner could tell me that yes you guys are on a break your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here now, they could be secretly meditating on you because they're tempted. They want to use this wand on you, okay? It's difficult to deal with you. It's difficult to work with you because they have you heavy on their mind. They're wanting to uh, use this wand. However, your partner could tell me that there was a secret. Something is toxic here, and this is the reason why you guys are on a break. Pisces, your partner has the lovers, could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Yes, your body's calling for me. Or you can tell me that there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the lovers. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the 
clear by the lovers for Pisces partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Pisces, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now, it very well could have been some type of deception, maybe with a partnership with work or business. However, it could be some type of deception because someone has another other lover. And it could also be that this person has you heavy on their mind and they're thinking about you. And, you know, they're so attracted to you and it's going to be some sneaking around because someone here could be already in a commitment. Pisces, your partner has the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Pisces, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands for Pisces partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Pisces partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Pisces partner. It is clarified with the king of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or your partner is wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. Thing, a little suspicious, a little paranoid. So listen, Pisces, your partner could tell me that they have their guard all the way up. They're highly suspicious. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or, you know, they're standing their ground here. Now, yes, I can see where this person may be going to be persistent here because they want to communicate passionately online with you, be intimate with you because you're heavy on their mind. But it'll be some type of sneaking around because someone's already in a commitment. Your partner could also tell me that they're highly suspicious they have their guard up because they feel like you were communicating passionately online with someone else, being intimate with someone else, another other lover, cheating, making it toxic. You're toxic. It's a secret coming out. And this is why you're on a break. 
However, your partner, and they think that you're dealing with someone you have history with. Your partner could also tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument because this is a work or business situation here and there was some type of deception and they're standing their ground with it. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.